you are welcome to this class and thank you for joining us again we want to solve this interesting system of equations finding the value of a and b now let's label this as equation one and this as two then equation one minus two here when we subtract the left hand side we have equation one a square minus b then minus equation two that's b square minus a we make use of bracket then equals to the right hand side 43 minus 43 that's zero so when we use this minus to open this bracket it becomes a square minus b minus b square then minus this minus that's plus a equals to zero and from here we can bring the one with square together we have a square minus b squared then we can write plus a now then minus b which is equals to zero and from here we have an identity difference of two squares which can be written as a plus b into bracket a minus b then plus a minus b equals to zero so from here we have a minus b a minus b common so when we take it out we have a minus b out and here remain a plus b then here remain one so plus one will be equals to zero so we have two cases here for case one we have a minus b equals to zero and for the second case case two we have a plus b plus one equals to zero so from the first case here we can take minus b here and we have a equals to b so from here the second case here we can take everything like b and one to that side we have a equals to minus b minus one now let's solve from here first we can bring equation one down and from equation one we have a square minus b equals to 43 so far our a is equals to b in this case so we can replace a as b and this will become b squared minus b and let's take this 43 to this side to make an equation that's minus 43 now equals to zero and from here we can solve this quadratic equation using quadratic formula which is b will now be equals to minus b in this case minus b b is minus one that's minus minus one plus or minus square root of minus one square b square minus 4 a a is 1 then c minus 43 over 2 a 2 times 1 then when we solve further we have b we then give us minus times minus become plus that's 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus times minus that's plus 4 times 43 that give us 172 then all over 2 so therefore we have b equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 173 all over 2 and since we have that a is equals to b we have that a is equals to b that means our a as well for this particular case we also give us 1 plus or minus square root of 173 over 2 so we have the value of a and b the same here now let's check from the second case we have here that a equals to minus b minus 1 and from here 
equation one as well that a square minus b equals to 43 when we substitute for a here now we now have minus b minus one squared that's a now then minus b which is equal to 43 so we can expand this when we expand this it will be minus b squared then plus 2b plus 1 then this minus b equals to 43 so when we solve this minus b squared as b squared we have 2b minus b that will give us plus b then plus 1 let's take 43 here that become minus 43 equals to 0 and from there we have b squared plus b then minus 42 equals to 0 this become a quadratic equation which we can factorize and we have b squared plus 7b minus 6b minus 42 equals to 0 grouping this one together to 2 we have b out then b plus 7 then minus 6 also b plus 7 left here equals to 0 so we have b plus 7 common then we have times b minus 6 equals to 0 so either of this could be 0 so that means we have b plus 7 equals to 0 or we have or we have b minus 6 equals to 0 and when we solve from here then we have b to be equal to taking 7 here that's minus 7 now and here b equals to 6 then we can get the value of a from here since we have that a is equal to minus b minus 1 in this case so for b equals to minus 7 a will now be equal to minus into minus 7 minus 1 so minus times minus here become plus so a will now be equal to 7 minus 1 which will give us a equals to 6 so when a is equal to 6 that means b is equal to minus 7 and as well in this case when we substitute b for a for 6 here we now have a give us minus 6 minus 1 that means a in this case is minus 7. So when a is minus 7, b is equal to 6. Therefore, we can conclude from here that the solution is, we have the solution as a comma b give us 6 comma minus 7. That is the first, you know, set of solution. And the second we have a comma b as minus 7 comma 6 also we have from the first case there we have a comma b the positive value first we have 1 plus root 173 over 2 comma same thing with the value of b that's 1 plus root 173 over 2 and as well we also have the value of a and b the negative side of this that's 1 minus root 173 over 2 and also 1 minus root 173 over 2 so we have these four solutions here as the value of a and b thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now